I'm uh, Paul Benz, uh, director of the Lutheran Public Policy Office, co-director of the Faith Action Network. Uh, we're just creating a new, uh, a new uh, statewide advocacy organization. So the, 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 the two, two questions are, why do I believe? And I believe um, in a higher being because um, uh, it's, it's something that gives me hope. And um, um, it's, it's kind of fundamental to who I am as a person and simply uh, what I believe. And I believe that because it is something that has sustained me in my life. Um, and I've seen it sustain others in, in their lives as well. Uh, in, in a, a belief in a, in a, a, a higher power. Um, because I've seen all too often that, um, that we, when we totally rely on, on, our, on our own, um, we don't always, we don't always uh, succeed too well. So a higher power exists because we need one? Um, I, I would I would say um, a higher power exists just flat out, and okay. um, you know. You want to put forward any evidence for that claim? No, no, okay. no, no, no. It's just that's just how how I believe. All and, right. Uh, and um, and in terms of of why someone should believe what I believe, I don't really believe that. Um, I'm I, begging you to tell me why. <laughs> I, pretend I'm your 12-year-old son. <laughs> Dad, why should I believe what you believe? Well, um, you, if if you if you sense what I believe in is right, then then you. Then you do that if it, if it has if it has genuineness to it if it has integrity to it if it brings about something better in the world then you believe in it and I and I'd, I'd want you to do that because okay. I, I believe in it so well as I survey the world of of belief and faith as yes. I understand it sure sure uh, I do not see uh, overall positive impacts. Right, uh, right. As I see it, most of the impacts are negative. Now that's subjective. Sure, sure. All right, but but I see I see a conflict in the modern world between reason uh -huh. and and revelation, uh -huh. or you could uh -huh. call it superstition or uh -huh. nonsense. <laughs> but but well, I see I see a, a definite conflict. Uh huh. Uh, and most of it tends to be on the more conservative side. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, environmental policies, things like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, and my, my, my feeling is that it happens because belief is primarily irrational. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, would you care to take that on? <laughs> I'm, I'm not here necessary to defend about um, why I believe what I believe in. Okay. I, I believe that we need to respect each other's viewpoints. Okay. And uh, religion, um, you're right, has, has a horrible history. Um, but um, it also has a good part of the history as well, mm -hmm. and. Um, but could we have had the good without the bad, without religion? <laughs> well, yeah. If, if if we want to put everything in reverse, you know, uh, I, I suppose. But well, going uh, forward, going going forward, um, I think um, I I think that the world of religion is is what it is, and uh, I think you know people can can attack it, they can dispute it. Uh, I think we have to learn how to uh, love each other and live together and work for justice. Okay. That's 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 what I'm about. Okay. So. Well, while we're on that subject. Yeah. Yeah. I, you might have known I have atheist sympathies. Yeah. Mainly because I'm an atheist. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My biggest problem with the Bible is the way the story ends. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Jesus comes back, makes one world. Uh -huh. and nobody makes peace. Uh huh. The good guys are the good guys are saved. The bad guys are damned. And that's how the story ends. Yep. Yep. Uh, the, I think why would be a fairly decent book if it ended differently, <laughs> uh, where where we get peace and brotherhood because we learned how to live with our differences right. and, and and come to reasonable sure. agreements. Sure. Uh, some s some people ha have an obsession with the Bible. I um, it it is it is a very important book for me, a book of books. But to me, it's more so my religion is about how I live my life and how I live in a relationship to the world. Uh, that we have and to the people that live on it. That's what's most important to me. That's the core of my religious belief, not not the book that you talked about. Very good. Well, thank you very much. You bet. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. yeah.